This week, the IFA Redfish Tour launches the first event in the 2016 season of the Texas Division in the Redfish Rich Waters of Port Aransas. But a recent front has left strong north winds and muddy water in its wake. How will the anglers contend? Find out right here on the IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's. The Inshore Fishing Association and Cabela's present the oldest, largest, and most prestigious red fishing tournament series in the nation, the IFA Redfish Tour. Port Aransas, Texas, once just a sleepy fishing village located on a barrier island off the Texas coast. Port A is now the primary destination for sportsmen and their families looking for a little fun and sun. We're here at uh, Port Aransas, Texas for the first event of the 2016 season. You know, we're here in April. Uh, last year we were here in August. Still great fishing, but I think this is just a better time of year to be here in the spring. But the main story for this weekend is the wind. We've had a uh, gust up to 35 miles an hour today. Right now we're working very closely with the Harbor Master. We're monitoring the weather, making sure that it's safe for the anglers to go out in the morning. The weather is really going to make it tough on people. There'll be people that normally would run south to, to Corpus and the Kennedy Bridge area. A lot of them won't be making that long run in this, this kind of wind, but some of them will do it. You know, start of the day, this morning, we, we actually were on the water, felt the front hit. You know, the wind was nice and, and warm, and then it ended up like within minutes just freezing cold. Uh, so in turn, it's still going to be windy. We're, we're going we're gonna to push wind probably to the time we have to be back in here. And hopefully it'll lay down just enough and the sun will pop out a little more to where we can maybe see some fish tomorrow to, to get some good hammers. The IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's is a grassroots family event with five divisions from the lower East Coast over to Texas. At this event, competitors are buying for their share of the more than $40,000 purse, including a brand new Ranger 1862 worth nearly $30,000 for the winning team. Not bad for a $250 entry fee. And while competitors are battling it out on the water, their families get to enjoy the shops and beaches of Port Aransas. We're delighted to have the IFA tournament back in Port Aransas again. I believe it's for the fifth or sixth year. Fishing is uh, probably the most important part of our tourism industry in Port Aransas because we are so close to the deep water and you're surrounded by the bays and the inlets. So there's any type of saltwater fishing that you could possibly want right out of Port Aransas. And of course, if you bring your wife down or family, there's all sorts of shops uh, from fun and funky to uh, upscale. And uh, we have a signature links Arnold Palmer styled golf course. It is one of the finest around, I've been told. Um, it's a beautiful course and um, lots of people love to come and enjoy being out because of course it borders the Gulf, and some of the holes are just absolutely beautiful. If you'd like to know more about Port Aransas, you can check out their website at portaransas.org. Coming up, we'll get out on the water and bring you all the highlights from stop number one in the Texas division of the IFA Redfish Tour, presented by Cabela's. Every curve, edge, line, and feature is designed for one quest, to seek, find, follow, and catch fish. It's all part of the Take Charge mission of the Ranger Saltwater Series. Experience the total performance difference at a Ranger dealer today. Whether you're trolling, bowling, drifting, anchored, or chasing the tide, these shallow water legends are built to fish as well as fly. Yamaha Outboards, you love the water, now own it. 
Hobie's Mirage Drive kayaks set the standard for fun on the water. Whether your passion is fishing, sailing, or recreational adventure, Hobie's got a kayak for you. Hobie's Mirage Drive mimics nature's proven designs for efficient and powerful propulsion and enhances your kayaking experience. Mirage Power, Mirage Performance, Mirage Drive. Hobie, enjoy the ride. Yamaha VMAX SHO, the game changer. The pros knew right out of the first hole shot that the VMAX SHO was the real deal. VMAX SHO exceeds two-stroke performance, delivers four-stroke efficiency, and is packed with legendary Yamaha reliability. It's the faster, stronger, smarter, lighter family of VMAX SHO outboards from Yamaha. The IFA Redfish Tour is presented to you by Cabela's, it's in your nature, by Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here, and by Ram Trucks, guts, glory, Ram. It's just before launch at Port Aransas City Marina. As expected, the weather will be the big story of the day. It's blowing hard and from the north. Teams that were depending on sight fishing will be affected the most as the north winds tend to push the water off the flats and reposition the large schools of redfish. I'm uh, gonna have a little fun today. Uh, a little north wind coming out of the north about 30. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun ride. It's cold. It's cold this morning. Red fired up. Red shoot this tournament out of here. Uh, man, the wind's not gonna let up. It's gonna get worse. Come about noon, one o'clock. Man, it's, it's going to be really tough. Well, I know it's going to be windy conditions. Uh, we're hoping that the north winds are going to give us a little bit smoother ride down south and uh, just hope to find some pretty good fish down there. We've been on a few, and hopefully we can scratch a few out tournament day. 3 o'clock, 26 through 50, 315, 51 through 75, 330. Here we go, Donna. Let's have some fun. It's going to be uh, pretty breezy, at least early in the morning, and working on low tide, so. Uh, there won't, won't be any sight fishing up in the shallows, uh, so we'll just use the wind to our advantage today. We're going to run down to, um, where are we going? Shamrock. <laughs> Shamrock Cove. Going, going to Shamrock going Cove. Going to Shamrock Cove first. That's our, our, our first spot. And we got some alternate spots on the way back, on the way back in. So I'm hoping to get two good hookups early and, uh, and then try to upgrade from there. That's our plan. And the weather today. is a lot better than we thought it would be. Yeah, it's better than we thought it was going to be. It, uh, they were forecasting originally 22 mile an hour winds. It looks like it's really maybe only 12, which isn't which isn't that bad. So it's, uh, it was a lot worse during the weeks. So um, we should have some fun today. It should be a good day. We'll check back with Donna and David later. For now, we'll catch up with IFA veteran Corpus Christi Zone. Barbara Scopolitis and her partner, Vic Rhodes. 47 and back from retirement. Barbara Scopolitis and Vic Rhodes. We will. Thank you. Wind's blowing pretty good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Pretty shallow. We're on bottom. bottom. Yeah. We've got a couple places that we're looking. Uh, we didn't ca we saw them yesterday, but we didn't catch them. We just looked at them, um, and they're in, they're in singles. They're not in schools, but they're in the same area. We looked probably at 25 to 30 fish yesterday. Out of those, probably four were good tournament fish. Uh, if that doesn't pan out, now that was with the wind out of the southeast. So the winds turned around from the north, northeast. So that'll make a difference, we'll see. With the north winds pushing the water off the shallows, teams will have to adjust their game plans and fly the deeper cuts in search of redfish. For now, sight fishing is on the back burner and teams are forced to blind cast, <laughs> just hoping to get lucky. Yikes. He's not big. Not big? No, but I got one. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, he's right here. Oh, wow. Well. We could just flip that in. <laughs> <laughs> a little baby one. But a redfish, nonetheless. <laughs> We're in elementary school right now. <laughs> Come on, sweetie, we're going to put you back you so you can grow up. <laughs> Mwah. Yeah. <laughs> Does that make a great show or what? <laughs> Everybody knew the day was going to be tough. The wind is a great equalizer, and when it blows like this, all you can do is cope. Stay with us. There's more tournament coverage ahead from Fort Aransas and the IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's. We've made our name helping anglers unlock the water's hidden secrets. Hit the switch. It's time to reveal even more. Auto Chart Live gives you the power to build your own high definition maps anywhere in the world in real time. Because when you know the unknown, you can do the unheard of. Auto Chart Live, only with Onyx, only from Humminbird. For years, they've quietly taken you where the fish are. But now the silence is about to break. With the incredible iPilot link, your Minn Kota and Hummingbird can communicate with each other. So you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, follow any depth contour, and more. All automatically and all from your Hummingbird or the link remote. They talk and you'll be speechless. The IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's is also brought to you in part by Boat US, take us with you on the water. By Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Lucas Oil, it works. Welcome back to Fort Aransas, Texas and the first stop in the 2016 season of the IFA Redfish Tours Texas Division. Conditions are difficult to say the least. A strong front has passed through and overnight the winds picked up to near 30 miles per hour, shifting to the north. When you get north wind, all the conditions, conditions change extremely. Um, we just drifted over that flat, tried to fish that. They got a real small red on, but that was all. We're um, getting ready to get out here a little deeper in the water. We're going back and we're going to fish that north shoreline of the east flats. Um, there have been a couple pods of fish working over there, so we're going to see if we can find those pods. While Barbara and Vic make a move, we'll check in on the husband and wife team of Donna and David Crouch. They've opted to fish close to launch, throwing popping corks over Berkeley Gulf Soft Plastics. Their live well is empty, but they know that their luck can change at any moment. A couple of years ago, we scrambled the same way, and uh, but we ended up catching two nice reds and at least made the top 20 two years ago. Same, same conditions where the wind came up and same thing. We finally found them though. <clears throat> Hopefully today we can at least do that. Well, so far we've been battling the wind. The, the wind changed and now it's coming. Uh, completely 180 degrees from where it was all week. And uh, some of our areas, our, our main area got all clouded up over there on a flat where we uh, had found some redfish before. So uh, now we're just kind of scrambling and trying to get out of the wind, and find some uh, protected area and um, stay along this grass. We got some a nice clearer water in the uh, in, uh, some grass to work with. Hopefully there's some, some reds hanging along the shore that's 
and where the wind has got them blown up there. So we can change up and try some other lures other than the popping cork. But the popping cork's been the most effective with the, with the Berkeley Gulp. Uh, all week that's been the most effective lure actually. So, so we'll, we'll keep working at it. It's a tough day for sure. We'll get back to David and Donna shortly. Back over to Barber Scopolitis and Vic Rhodes. They've made a short move to find some clear water yes. and it paid off cool. with an immediate catch. <laughs> He's not a keeper, I don't think. Texas Parks and Wildlife has a slot limit in place for redfish. In this event, competitors are looking for the heaviest two fish that fall between 20 and 28 inches. Anything else must be immediately released. He's not 20, right? you go. Getting closer, 17. Yeah. <laughs> but, you gotta catch some. Get the others. <laughs> By midday, the conditions eased up. The wings have laid down considerably. The low tide from this morning has reversed, allowing water to push back onto the flats. Pulling a nice red right here. David and Donna have made a move to the East Flats. They're sticking with Berkeley Gulf under popping corks, but the clock is becoming a factor. Go ahead, scoot. Got to pull two uh, 27s in right here. Make my day. Yeah, we moved we moved out, out of the Cove and moved over out of Shamrock Cove and moved over to East Flats. And uh, this is a big flat, um, very large flat. That, and uh, we know that in the last ten years, at least three times, the tournament's been won here. So this flat does get some uh, some big reds on it sometime. We just hope that they're out here and that they turn on. So because uh, now we're running short on time, so we're looking we're looking for a scramble right here. So we hope we do it. Listen Maybe here, I don't well, know if he's a, what he is. That's running like a red. Could be a little red. A little red maybe, yeah. Let's see what you got there. Uh, might be a little red. I don't need a net, I don't know. That's a big, big trout. It's a big trout. I'd say that's a keeper trout. Yeah, what would you think. say? Shoot. There he is. Wow, oh, excuse me. There he is. Whoa, nice trout. <laughs> Look at that trout. Don't, don't get him too much. Wrong, uh, wrong species, dude. On a nice fish, though. Time is running out, and teams are beginning to make their way back to check in at Port Aransas City Marina. It was a tough day for all, and Barbara and Vic are going home empty handed, but it wasn't due to lack of effort. Thanks. Uh, what do you think? Well, we tried a lot of different spots. Yeah. We tried a lot of different we tried, places. We tried. We tried. And <laughs> we caught some small fish, but. We couldn't get the big one. Nope. Stay with us. We're heading back to the weigh-in where there is more than $40,000 up for grabs. We'll be right back with the final moments of the IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's from Port Aransas, Texas. Here's the Ranger Boat's question of the week. To find out the answer, go to MyDreamRig dot com. Some days, the biggest rush of all is feeling really, really small. One thing you worry about these days is ethanol in your outboard. 
One product I use is Lucas Oil Safeguard Ethanol Fuel Conditioner. And when you use a bottle of this, basically is the ability to protect and safeguard your motor. This five and a quarter ounce bottle will treat 25 gallons of fuel. It's perfect for marine applications. Lucas Oil Safeguard Ethanol Fuel Conditioner and Stabilizer. It's what I'm pouring into my fuel tank to help protect my investment in my big motor. Available at Cabela's. You put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. The IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's is also brought to you in part by Minn Kota Trolling Motors. Anywhere, anytime. By Hobie Fishing. By Pure Fishing. Built with innovation. Fueled by passion. And by General Tire. Anywhere is possible. Welcome back to Port Aransas, Texas and the IFA Redfish Tour. It was a tough day of fishing for all. The high north winds changed things up completely, pushing water off the shallow flats. Both of our feature teams struggled, and at the end of the day, went home with empty live wells. We started off the, uh, the day going to our, our number one spot out at uh, Shamrock Cove, and it got washed out. There's big, big winds and big waves, so it washed us out there. So we started scrambling, went to the other side of uh, Shamrock Cove, I fished there before, but not a lot. But we came across some good, uh, some good grass and stuff. I thought we were going to catch some reds over there. I was really surprised we didn't. And then, uh, so then we pulled out of there and went to East Flats, and uh, that's a big flat right over here. And uh, that usually produces some good fish. All it got for us is just some uh, uh, a few specks and uh, no reds. And then we pulled outside in the main channel to Pelican Point and um, uh, fishing the rocks, nothing there either. So we're going to say uncle, call it a day, and uh, go back to the weigh-in. After a tough day on the water, we'll head back to Port Aransas City Marina, where we'll turn it over to IFA Tournament Director Eric Shelby on stage with the team of Andy Fleshman and Jeff Holt. Next up, boat 42 today, Andy Fleshman, Jeff Holt. They've got a good one on their first one, 887. That's your new big fish for the event, 887. They need a 676 to take the lead. They don't think they got it. We'll see if they got it or not. Not quite, 627, that's still a great bag of fish. Gives them a 1514. 15-14 is good enough for fourth place and earns them more than $2,000 for the day. Jay and Ryan Watkins are a father-son team with plenty of local knowledge, and despite their tough conditions, they managed to bring in an impressive pair of redfish to the scales. Got another good fish coming to the scales. 802 for your first fish, guys. That's a good one right there. I've got a second one to go with it. 770, 770, 1572. Uh, we knew it was going to be a grind. We knew it was going to be a late bite. We think we had one fish in the box by probably 1.30, 2 o'clock. Uh, sure enough, after hitting our first area the first, first part of the morning, we left, let those fish relocate, get back in there, came back in there late in the day. They are in there mud boiling. and If you saw them, you couldn't catch them, though. So it was a lot of blind casts and a lot of long, long throws. But, um, Eventually, uh, the old man came in clutch. He, he did. He did. I've been saying all year, if he can just put one in the boat, we're going to have a good shot at winning. And he did. And he did. Um, but it was a good day. Um, we executed perfectly. We didn't lose any fish. 
Um, just really didn't have enough time during the feeding period to really get on them like we wanted to. But for the time we had, we may do um, sitting in second place, so we can't complain with anything. For their efforts, Team Watkins will take home nearly $4,000. That leaves just one team, Kevin Aiken and Bart Carin. All right, they've got a good one to weigh. We'll see how it's going to go. And it is the first nine pounder, 944, 944. That's a stud right there. We're going to let you hold it up and get a picture of it. First, let's go ahead and see what they got to go with it. They only need a 619 to take the lead. He backed it up with an 802, 802. 17 and a half pounds right there. On this day, the team from Corpus Christi wins, sacking up 1746 and taking home nearly $30,000 in cash and prizes, including a brand new Ranger 1862. Um, I've been fishing the IFAs for, I mean, since they first came to Corpus. You know, um, I've won one before, had, you know, on the podium a lot of times, you know, not as many as I want, but, but um, it, anytime you can win any tournament, it's great. And anytime you can win an IFA, you know, I'm at home. Home sometimes is the worst water to fish, and it just, Winning is so much better than second, third, and fourth. I mean, it just, I've been on the other side of things a lot, and it's nice to have a great day for a change. A big congratulations to Kevin Aiken and Bart Karn, and a big thanks to the city of Port Aransas for hosting this event. If you'd like to know more about planning a trip to Texas, we hope you'll visit portaransas.org. They've got everything you'll need to plan that perfect getaway. If you'd like to know more about the IFA Redfish Tours, the Opens, or the Kayak Events, please visit ifatours.com. The Cabela's IFA Redfish Tour is a Careco TV production.